Okay. Okay, guys. I am starting on another margarita cup today. I'm going to do a 20 ounce thick from Maker Flow this time. Uh, the cup is currently outside. I'm going to run outside and spray it with this spray adhesive and then come back in and put the mask glitter on it. And I'm also going to start at the same time the lid for this one. So I have some KS Resin Liquidy Split mixed up. I did tape, just clear packing tape, the bottom because for the holes where I removed the slide, um, the resin will drip through otherwise. So I'm just going to pour, um, this is leftover that I had mixed from another cup. I mixed up extra just so I had some to get started. So I'm going to pour the bottom. Um, I flipped the lid over onto the slide that I removed because these lids slope forward towards the drinking hole and you don't want that when you're putting the resin in. You want it tilted back and the slide is like just enough to slightly tilt it back but not make it so everything rolls to the back. So I have my little lime wedge from Lime Slice from Amazon. Uh, these I got from Hobby Lobby. I have not found a set on Amazon yet that has the two sizes of the gems, but this is just vase filler. Um, there's a million options for it out there. And I'm just going to start placing these into that wet resin. So I'm going to do a mix of bigs and smalls. Some people make these removable and you do what you're comfortable with. I feel like doing it the way I started with the resin here. For me, I'm most comfortable with because it ends up super, super secure. And I get nervous about anything with moving pieces. It's why I don't really do any kind of 3D tumblers typically. It's why I resisted these for so long because I hadn't seen a method that for me was going to be a viable option. But I think this option worked great for me. So, And like I said, this is a fast set. It's actually KS Resin Liquidy Split, so um, it'll dry fairly quickly and pretty securely. So, all right, oh, I'm going to get a little stick to move that one back up. Sometimes they like to fall in the drink hole. All right, so I'm not going to put any more on there for now. I'm going to let that sit for a bit. And once it starts to set up some, then I will bring it up for another layer. I had the first time around tried to let it thicken up in the cup and it got too thick. I think this way will work better just pouring a layer. The next batch I'll probably let thicken up a little bit more but I'm gonna go grab the cup and move on to the next step. Okay I'm back. My cup is sprayed and I am just going to get a coat of glitter on it. I suspect this glitter is going to look very different over this base color versus the fluorescent that I used the last time I used this glitter, but I think it'll still be fine for a margarita cup. So, yep, that'll be just fine. Just scoop some back into my cup. This glitter is bagged, so I'm working from a little medicine cup just to try and contaminate as little as possible. And again, this is a 20 ounce thick, so it's a fairly large cup. I have a lot of surface to cover. But this adhesive stays tacky for a while, so. I 
And I'm not going to burnish this or anything. I'm just going to leave this. Uh, I don't think I'm going to burnish it. <laughs> I think I'm just going to leave it as glitter this time. Because I'm kind of digging the way it's looking. So... So one little line there. Oops. Start to work on the bottom. And I'm just going to dump this directly on the bottom. I'm going to have to move off camera a little bit, sorry. I don't have enough clearance to actually stand my cup up. And I'm just going to kind of twist the bottom as I pour the excess off. And I'm going to roll my edge right on my paper. Because this is such little glitter that I'm not terribly worried about that tiny bit of waste. But I feel like I get a better edge coverage when I roll it. Okay, so that is full coverage. I'm going to let this sit for a little bit. I'm going to let the lid sit for a little bit and set up, and I will be back to get some epoxy on this and the next step of the lid. Okay, I am ready to get a coat of resin on here. I am not ready to build on the lid anymore just yet. But, wrong turner. All right. So, I just have my resin mixed up already. I'm going to get a good coat on here, and interestingly enough, my glitter is sliding everywhere. Hmm. So, which did not happen the last time I used this adhesive, but I'm hoping that it will kind of end up wet with it and smooth itself back out. I, I swear it's always something. Good to know, because I have another cup over here that I just did the same thing with, and I will run that one outside and seal it before I epoxy it, I guess. So I may have to sprinkle a little more glitter on once the resin's on. But, hmm. I'll have to see as I smooth it if I think it's necessary. It's always interesting how like something that worked one day won't work the next day. Or depending on the weather. I mean it is extremely muggy today so that could play a part in this. I actually think it's just kind of making its own wet method, so I don't think I'm going to have to add any glitter. It seems to be smoothing itself back out, so that's good. But I will definitely, definitely seal the next one. Yeah, I get the bottom. I don't want to contaminate this last little bit of resin because that's mixed for something else already, so... I'm going to do the bottom by pouring it on my glove. And 
Okay. So I actually think I'm okay. Thankfully, I would have been very upset. I feel like a little something goes wrong with almost every cup. So, but. so that's how it looks under resin with the lighter spray paint. I'm just going to let it spin out and do its thing. Um, I'm going to grab the other cup just so we can see how big a difference in color it makes. This is the one that I did the fluorescent green and burnished on. So it's a little bit darker over here. But not all that different, but a little bit different. But I like both. So I'm going to let this dry. Um, it should be ready for decal after just one coat. I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to let this set up just a little bit more. But this is how it looks so far. Cute, cute, cute. Whoops. Cute, cute, cute. You can see where I have one that's not actually stuck down right now. That'll be fixed in the next layer. And I will be back to work on the lid. And when it is time to decal the cup. Alrighty. Okay, so I am ready to decal this one. This is white printable vinyl. This is StarCraft for inkjet. But it says, when life gives you limes, make margaritas. Don't be a sour bitch. So I'm going to get this placed on here and get a coat of resin on it and get my topper finished up. So I'm just going to fold over part of the back. You have to be careful with your printable vinyl because um, you don't want to damage it trying to line it up or anything. So I'm going to have to turn it a little bit to try and make sure it's pretty, pretty straight. And I couldn't get my print and cut to work today. So I actually hand cut this. It should technically have a white edge, but like I said, print and cut wasn't behaving, so. And I wanted to get this one done. I'm just gently using my scraper because I can't find the one I had that had the felt edge. And I don't want to scratch up my image with my regular scraper. But... How cute is that going to be? Especially once the lid is done and on. It's going to be awesome. So, I'm going to grab my gloves. I'm going to get this turning. And finish this puppy up. Alright. My cords are a mess. So I have to find the right one. Nope. There we go. <clears throat> so I already have my resin mixed up. So I am ready to go. So let's bring you back in frame. I'm just gonna get started. Hopefully this vinyl's been sitting long enough. I have to get moving because this resin is warming up. I already used it on another cup, so should be good. Yep. Alright. So just a standard regular thin coat of clear. Nothing fancy here. This one might be my favorite. I think if this one doesn't sell, it might have to be my vacation cup. Although I don't really want it as a vacation cup because it's one of the thicks. So, probably not. If it doesn't sell, it'll go to retail. Solved. I really do feel like I need a vacation cup though because it's been a long time 
since there's been a vacation. All right, and I'm going to change my gloves again just because I don't want to get that all over the lid. And I'm going to torch this real quick in just a second. Okay, I can get these on. Sometimes I have problems getting the next pair on quickly after I switch. Alright, I did it. So I'm just going to give it a quick torch because I can see some bubbles over the decal. the part I'm primarily concerned with bubbles. Oh my god, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm going to scoot that up out of the way and bring my lid back in. I don't need this lemonade decal. This is the non-bitch version of these. Alright, get it propped back up again. I'm going to pour some around. Let it run down the lime. Try and seal the lime in a little bit more. I'm actually going to run over, like, basically the entire top. That can just seep in and make sure everything is covered. And I need a little stir because I am going to um, put a little bit directly on the rest of the ones that are going on here. But I don't think I'm going to put too many more on. I kind of sometimes feel like a little bit less is a little bit more with these. They don't need to be piled sky high. I'm finding that by drizzling the resin in, um, I did that on the first two I did, the testers, that it works really well and it makes them fairly easily washable. I would just wash it, you know, with a mild detergent like you would any of your tumbler lids and then flip them upside down to dry. It's going to be my care instruction for these. But I actually think that that is going to be plenty. So I'm just going to let it go at that. I don't want it to get too, too nutty. So, pick it up so you can see it a little bit better. <clears throat> I think it's perfect. So I will let that sit and dry. I'm going to let that spin and dry. And that is a margarita tumbler done.